In this lesson, we are going to be learning about the quadrant diagram, which is a diagram that looks like this and like this. And we're going to be speaking about where to find angles. We're going to talk about quadrants. I want you to let you know that this lesson is all in degrees. There will be future lessons where it will be in radians. So the basic diagram starts at zero degrees. Then we go anti-clockwise to 90, then to 180, then to 270, and then to 360. And this is quadrant one, this is quadrant two, this is quadrant three, and this is quadrant four. Okay, so let's do our first example, because there's a couple other things we need to talk about. So this first example would like us to draw a 50 degree angle. So remember, this is zero, 90. I'm going to be mentioning this quite a lot, so you might get a little bit annoyed as we go along. So this is quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. Your, your teacher might even use Roman numerals if they're really cool. So this is quadrant two, uh, quadrant three, and then quadrant four. Okay, so it doesn't really matter though. So what we do is we always start measuring from this side. We call this the initial. The initial. Okay, let's quickly just write that a little bit better. Okay, and we're always going to go in this direction. Um, unless it's a negative angle, which we will look at in this lesson. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at positive angles, negative angles. So if you go 50 degrees, that's probably going to go up to about here. Okay, so you can, so, and then what you do is you draw a line from the center up to in that direction over there. And then this angle, you could put a little arrow there. Um, each teacher uses different techniques, but what I'm trying to explain is just the overall idea. Okay, and this angle will be 50 degrees. Now this line over here, this line that we've drawn, we're going to call that the terminal side. That is our terminal. Um, I'm just going to say terminal. I'm not going to say terminal side, but those are the two things I want you to know. So let's do another example now. So now we're going to draw a two. Whoa, 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 skew. So now we're going to. Whoa, my goodness. We're going to do a 200 degree angle, as I was trying to say. So we're going from zero. Remember, this is 90, 180, 270, 360. So where would 200 be? Well, 200 would be somewhere in this quadrant. So let's say there, draw a little line, and then you can just show a little angle like that. And then this angle is 200 degrees. Once again, this is the initial, and then this is the terminal. So we always start on the initial. We always start there. Here's our next example, 310. So you can draw your X and your Y axis. And then remember that this is zero. This is 90, 180, 270, and 360. So 310 would be somewhere in this quadrant. So it would probably be somewhere in between, uh, a little bit closer to the 270, so about there. So what, and then you could draw a little line. And then you could go from here and just show that there's an angle going all the way around. And so that would be 310. Now this is your terminal. And then this is the initial side. Okay. And in future lessons, we're going to go more into this. We're going to speak about reference angles, and we're going to do this in radians. So that's all coming up. These are just introduction lessons. So here's the next next one. Now, this one's pretty cool because it's negative. So let's draw x and our y um, axis like that. Remember, this is 0, 90, 180. By now, you should be getting this, 270, 360. Remember that this is quadrant 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now we're going to start at the initial side like we always do, but now we're going to go negative 40. So we're going to go um, backwards. So we're going to go 40 degrees backwards. So 40 degrees is probably about there. Put a little dot and then we can do that. Whoopsie, like that. And then we can just show the angle like this. Notice we're not going to go this way around because we have a negative angle. So we're rather just going to go that way. And that angle is 40 degrees. Once again, initial and terminal. Here's our next one. So this is negative 100. In the next uh, couple of examples, we're even going to be doing big angles like 700. So that's going to be quite interesting. And also big negative angles. So stick around for that. So here's negative 100. So let's just do this all again. 80, 270 and 360. Now negative 100. So if you go, so we're going to go backward. You're not going to go this way. You're going to go this way. Okay. So if you go from there to there, that's 90. 
and then you need to go a little bit further. So that's up to about there. And then I'm gonna draw a line. Okay, and then you would show the angle backwards like that. And you could say that that is um, negative 100 degrees. Or your teacher might even just say that that is 100 degrees, because that is 100 degrees, but obviously we're just going um, backwards, okay? Uh, that is in quadrant three, by the way, that's quadrant three. Okay, so let's move on. Negative 220. Okay, so that's zero, 90, 180, 270, and 360. Now, because it's a negative, you must go this way. So you're gonna go 220 degrees that way. So this is 180 degrees and then you'll just go an extra 40 up to there. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little dot, and then we do that. I actually don't want this to be so big, I'd rather it just looks like that. And so that would be our angle, and this is in quadrant number two. Negative 300, okay. So this is zero, 90, 180, 270 and 360. So because it's a negative, you must go downwards instead of upwards. So you're gonna go here and let's go smaller. And we're gonna go 300 degrees. So that's 180 up to there, 270, and then 300 would be up to about there. So we can put a little dot and then we can draw a line going through, put an arrow to show that this part on the outside is the angle. And this is quadrant one. Ooh, here's a nice one, 700. So check this out. So this is zero because obviously 700 does not fit on the diagram. So what are we gonna do, Kevin? What are we gonna do, my bro? Well, what we do is you're gonna go once around, and I'm going that way because it's positive. But sorry, I messed that up. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go like this, and then you're gonna go like this. And now 700 would be in this quadrant over here. Because if you go all the way around once, that's 360. Then up to here would be 450. Up to here would be 540 up to here would be 630, and then um, 700 would be like another 70 degrees. And if you had to go all the way around to here again, that would be 720. So we're gonna stop there, and then I'm gonna draw a line, and we are in quadrant number four. Okay, so that's how you handle, um, that's how you handle angles that are larger than 360. Negative 500. This is our last example, so if you've made it this far, well done to you. That shows that you are very um, disciplined, you're committed, you're really working hard, and that's awesome. Yeah, Kevin, come on, don't be so cliche, bro. I'm just studying, I've got to get my work done. Okay, sorry, I'm just thinking it's pretty good that you're watching for this long. Okay, let's move on. So negative 500, uh, let's first say 0, 90, 180, 270, 360. So if you do negative 500, you're gonna start here where we always do, but you're gonna go backwards. So you're gonna go once, well, let's not make such a big one. Let's do here. So you're gonna go that, that's negative 360. Whoops, I messed that up again, like that. And then you're gonna go up to there. So 360 up to there, that's 90, that's 450. So 500 would be somewhere in this quadrant. Okay, and there we go. And then you can draw a line like that. And Yep, so this is your, once again, this is your terminal side, and then you always start at your initial side. Initial means first, and then, or beginning. And then this is quadrant number three.